Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Turner Classic Movies. I'm Ben Mankiewicz with a special presentation. Tonight we have two crime films and their subsequent remakes. Today, if you want to elicit a groan out of a classic movie fan, all you have to do is say the word remake. The very thought of modern day filmmakers trying to redo classics is an assault to our collective sense of movie justice. But the truth is that remakes have always been a big part of the Hollywood business model. During the golden age of Hollywood, a typical movie might only play in a town for a week or two, and no Netflix, no Redbox or HBO. So if a few years later a retelling of the same story came to town, who was going to notice, let alone complain? Truth is, more than a few of the classic movies you love were remakes of earlier films. Up next, we have a pair of double features, crime films followed by a remake of the same story. We begin with two movies based on a Broadway play, a hit by Martin Flavin, the story of a prosecutor who becomes a warden and then comes face to face with the men he put behind bars. Up first, the original, directed by Howard Hawks and starring Walter Houston as the lawman. From Columbia Pictures in 1931, it's The Criminal Code. The story begins with Houston reluctantly prosecuting a young man who accidentally killed someone. The young man, played by Phillips Holmes, ends up being sentenced to 10 years in prison. Several years later, Houston is placed in charge of the prison where Holmes is one of many prisoners with a grudge against the new warden. But Houston is still sympathetic to Holmes, so he gives him a job as his driver, but that already complicates further strain by the presence of the warden's daughter and whether Holmes is willing to rat out another prisoner. The movie also stars Boris Karloff as Holmes' cellmate, a part Karloff originated in the play, and Constance Cummings as the warden's daughter. From 1931, with an Oscar-nominated script by Seton Miller and Fred Niblo, Jr., here's The Criminal Code. 